Hey everyone, João from Metrica Sports here. I'm going to show you today our latest update, the field tracking. So now, in the light version, what you have is these two magic buttons. Now you have field tracking. So what this is going to do is scan the pitch and give you the ability to do trace, future trail, 3D effects, have distances and speeds all without leaving the software. So once the field tracking is done, which is quite fast, you can check the results here when you press this button. There will be a, a blue overlay of all the lines in the pitch. If sometimes the camera pans away and something is not as accurate as it should be, you can always choose to improve a selected frame of the pitch right here in this button. And he will make it as accurate as he can be. So now I'll show you things you can do. One of my favorite things is the trace. This will show you where the player is coming from, his original position. So you choose the effect, you do any settings you might like, and you press player tracking. So now he will add this effect to it with 3D effect, remember that. Another cool one I really enjoy is the future trail. So this is going to show you where the player is going to be. Let's say this one, I press player tracking, and now he is going to create that effect for me. Once I'm satisfied, I press stop and now he shows me the effect. Another cool thing that this will give you is the ability to pin shapes. For example, if I draw this shape right here, he will remain there. All I have to do is extend the bar for as long as I want it to remain in the pitch, which is actually pretty cool. I can add something to it, like a text box, let's say 4v2, put it in 3D and put it right inside the box. Extend it for as long as I want and there you go. You have the effect pinned to the pitch very very fast. You can do copy and paste and have this same shape built somewhere else you might like. Another cool thing you got is the arrows which now are pretty much neater if you have a 3D effect. You can add some height to it, some thickness, and yes, distances. With 3D effect, make them as big as you want or close. Same thing happens if you want to, for example, link some players in the fence. Let's say this one, this one, and this one. Now you have the ability to showcase the distances between them. You can put it in 3D or not, if you want to have it a bit more visual. Once that is done, you press player tracking and he will follow the players for as long as they are in the video. Always with the distances connected to them, which is pretty cool thing to have extra information for as long as you want it. Once you're satisfied with it, you stop tracking, go back, check the results for yourself. So, major update. Hope you guys enjoy it, have a good one.